everybody. I'm Tony still. Hi, I'm Fiona still. Wow. Uh, so <laughs> uh, we we decided that we liked the game. And also due to fan feedback, we are continuing with Chess of Blades. And we are we're just continuing straight up where we left off from the demo. From what we can tell, there's not too much of a difference other than some like a few UI differences and probably like a few writing changes. Um, but the demo is fairly final. So I don't think you're missing out by us just continuing where we left off. Yeah. We think it's fine. I mean, we looked at it. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's yeah. Uh, yeah. We're there. Uh, also, you may notice we have fancy microphones, phones, phones, <laughs> phones, phones. We have our stuff back. Yay! Wow, we have the mixing board back. I'm so happy. Okay. Anyways, that's enough of that bullshit. Let's go back to just the blades. <laughs> uh, I don't remember where we were in this part, so you'll have to bear with us. Uh, yeah. So let's see. I pull my head from under the covers and gaze clumly up at the ceiling. As much as I hate to admit it, I'd rather risk embarrassing myself by taking Franz's words seriously instead of ignoring him and ending up a bloody splatter. In the game of blades. <laughs> Swallowing, I slip out from the bed to make sure my room's door is locked, pressing my ear to the wood just to see if anyone's lurking outside. Wow, okay, yeah, fair but enough. But I don't hear anything except the fast beating of my own heart. Yeah, I mean, we just had a fairly traumatic encounter, so this is kind of a shitty, just go to sleep sort of thing. You can turn off the menu. Yeah, let's turn that menu off. I give up and return to the plush mattress, crawling back under the sheets. Mm-hmm. We're going to have a long talk about this, Father. <laughs> Fa Father, why did Father. you send me here? What? What were you thinking, Father? Is this the noble equivalent of throwing your child in the lake to teach them how to swim? Ah, it, prob <laughs> it probably is. Uh, oh, oops, sorry. Oh, well. Uh, until then, I'll make sure any would-be assassins learn to fear the name of... Rivian Verison. That's not a very threatening name, my dude. No, not really. No. It's not like Butch Mc... Stabby face, but, but you know, I'm not gonna lie. Butch McStabby face is also not a very threatening <laughs> name. <laughs> At least, you know, me personally. I guess if I met Butch McStabby face, I would be upset. <gasps> I think we get a title card. We do. Look at all these things floating around. These particles. <gasps> That's a romance. Yeah, masquerade it. ball. It's happening. Like, oh, more romance. There were there were two our left and right. <laughs> Okay, okay, this is actually really cool. <laughs> yeah. Okay, this is actually really cool. <gasps> and we have oh, the character voice. Oh, Arden. Okay, I actually kind of like Arden so far. I'm not going to lie, Arden so far is my top pick. <laughs> <gasps> Ooh, we fancy. haven't even met Linnaeus. Ow, what a They have a ribbon man. in their hair, even. <gasps> hmm. Oh. Side character. Wait, wait, <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Silas isn't romanceable? Whoa. Oh, who are th who are those? <laughs> who's who's that lady on the right? She looks badass. Yeah, she's ready to kick some ass. Oh my god! Wow. All right, so I find myself like pretty excited for what's <laughs> going on. All of a sudden, look at this fun character. <gasps> look at that! Whoa, blood sport. <laughs> The ch is the chess of blades just a <laughs> just blood bowl? <laughs> it's it's Fight Club. <gasps> Oh, Arden's gonna get into a cool sword fight. Oh no! Whoa! Fu Whoa! <laughs> this trailer's fucking hype! <laughs> this is so hype! Full hype. Wow, I need to use that screen grab for my new title for the title cards. Oh god, I had to go with some low res shit. Uh, anyways. <laughs> Boring behind the scenes stuff. <laughs> oh. <laughs> good that was a good line read. <laughs> <laughs> what is that infernal noise? Sir? Sir, are you awake? <gasps> ah! <laughs> Is it Silas? I'll bet Silas. I bolt upright, rubbing at my eyes hastily. That's right. I'm trapped in this castle of death for a so-called celebration. Well, I mean, you don't know it's a castle of death. You just got, like, a warning. Well, it's called the Chess of Blades. Well, I mean, but he doesn't know it's called the Chess of Blades. <laughs> Maybe it's the Choking Tower or something. Like, who knows? Uh-huh. Uh, but more importantly, is that whose voice I think it is? <gasps> I grab a pillow from the bed and hold it in front of my legs for modesty's sake, then storm over to the door to unlock it and fling it open. Wait, didn't we do this section already? We did. Okay, here. Sir, you damn sorry. You all right. Let's uh, let's bust through this real quick because I know y'all have seen this. <laughs> well, uh, 
because there is no how I, I think I think just after this scene transitions right where we would appreciate it Probably. um it's just where we left off so <gasps> come on but chocolates from <laughs> yes we know you love your chocolates Rivian after I finish getting ready oh we're not gonna do it there I, I don't know. Oh, you're right. This is where we were. Okay. Okay. We're hungry. We're hungry. We're hungry. Was that my stomach? Gurgle. Oh, right. I suppose I haven't eaten since my snack during the carriage ride last evening. Well, I'm sure they have food. Well, yeah, little tidbits and Peruvian mm -hmm. chocolates. I wind my way through the corridors and trot down the stairs, returning to the main hall while keeping my eyes peeled for any would-be attackers. It seems, though, like most of the guests have already gone outside, although a few are still milling about in this ridiculously huge foyer. I stay on careful alert for that demonic woman, too, oh my whose God. threat rivals any assassin. Wow. Also, That's mean. Fiona, I'm sorry. I'm not going to be able to play this game with you unless you say this foyer. Foyer. <laughs> there we go. Good, good, good. <laughs> good, good, good. <gasps> As I saunter toward the doors, I notice a man with long, dark hair leaning by the grand entrance, intently reading a long scroll. So is this guy just going to be a nerd? Like, I wonder what his thing's <laughs> going to like. be. Well, look at the glasses. Like, fucking nerd. <laughs> as in, very intently. He looks about as focused on that paper as a starving dog with a bone. My curiosity wins out over my refined upbringing, and I quietly approach behind him to try and sneak a glimpse of whatever's on the scroll. It sounds like we're the starving dog looking for a bone. <laughs> like, yeah, do you just want to be in control of, no, of this thing? No, oh, okay, all right, all right. Before I can so much as catch a word, he abruptly spins to face me. A pair of hawk-like eyes behind angular glasses flick down to bear holes through my face. <clears throat> wow. I was just going to pick some lint off your shoulder, you see. Oh, oh, I see. <laughs> Is that so? <gasps> oh, oh, another lint picker. Well, carry on then. I haven't all day. I have a scroll to read. <laughs> I don't think I've been given as such an icy glare since I told my mom she looked fat in one of her dresses. Uh, ah, yes, I mean. headed out Damn. to the festival and all that. Just spotted something on that coat of yours. Didn't want to embarrass you. Wow. My, how remarkably thoughtful you are. <laughs> I don't suppose you're one of the servants trying to That's, masquerade ooh, as a noble. Are, you, are you comparing us to Silas? You mean you don't recognize me? He rolls his eyes at me, pushing up the bridge of his glasses with a light snort. I am a busy man. Why would I bother anime learning the name pose. of someone who goes around? This is the most anime pose I've seen in my life. People. Wow, he really thinks we're just a lint picker. <laughs> I wince. This fellow really doesn't pull his punches. I guess I've been spoiled from all this random attention I've been getting. There's oh. no way everyone would know my face just because I've been seen around with my old man. I'm Rivian. Varison, that is. Uh, oh, we're so put off. No. The only response I get is an impassive stare. Oh, I, I still have no I'm... idea who you are. <laughs> The son of the <laughs> Don't you know how right? important I am? I, I like the O for hell's sake. I'm a big deal in the capital. <laughs> My name's Rivian. <laughs> ah, that Verison. I thought you said Garrison. A simple <laughs> mishearing. <laughs> That's my clarification. His eyes finally light up in recognition. Is there more than one Verison? He's definitely mocking me. Oh, absolutely. Well, why didn't you say so sooner? I would have let you pick lint off of me to your heart's content. <gasps> Whoa! Mm. This isn't the personality I thought it would be business. at all. I was fibbing. Caddy. <laughs> really? You could have fooled me. If I was five years old, perhaps. <gasps> Sick burn on <laughs> Rivian! <laughs> Regardless of how pitiful a liar you may be, <laughs> His Majesty informed me to thank you for your attendance at the festivities and sends your father his regards. <gasps> He's the prince! Oh my gosh, seriously? Wait, the king told you that directly? Of course. You oh, the Grand, the Grand Inquisitor! The Inquisitor would have contact with No wonder he's pompous. I... <laughs> <laughs> what is the Inquisitor, the head of the domestic investigations, doing at a royal celebration? I know what your unsophisticated... <laughs> <man is. laughs> 
Oh. Why is the head of domestic investigations at a royal celebration? Why like doesn't Why doesn't this picture have a well, mic so he can drop it? Be Absolutely. <laughs> to be present at such he's important he's events. he's all he's basically a Jotaro from JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. That's his character so far, hmm. but haughty and and snooty. <laughs> how can what? you be both haughty and snooty? Apparently, he's making it work. Yeah. Well, I can see how he got his job. Now that I think about it, though, haven't I heard of this man before? Uh, what was his name again? I want to pick his name Final Fantasy style. <gasps> Do oh, uh, we should remember. Maybe we can um, maybe we can set it. Well, see, what I would really like it though is if there's there was a third option of I can't recall, but it said in brackets lie, as if <laughs> you do recall, but you say that you can't recall. Mm. Anyways, let's let's the let's remember. Inquisitor. Hmm. Linnaeus, was it? Oh, Linnaeus. I'm sorry, not That's Linnaeus. Correct. I see you store some useful information oh, in that wow. blonde, nearly empty head of yours. Jesus Christ. I hope, I hope this person's not a love interest. Damn. Well, I imagine he's like the, the Sundere sort of <laughs> <laughs> love interest. Gods, talk about him pleasant. Did snooping over his shoulder really warrant this kind of treatment? Clearly, the king tolerates him for qualities other than his horrible personality. Just out of curiosity, did his majesty tell you to thank every guest like that, or just me? <laughs> oh. His nose wrinkles disparagingly at my question, upper lip curling, no doubt in preparation to offer some kind of caustic response. Have you ever in real time noticed someone's upper lip curling? No. Yeah, same. Holy shit. But I mean, like, I'm Many on the spectrum, so I probably wouldn't oh, notice oh, anyway. Okay, yeah, fair, fair enough. <laughs> well, I also have not. Specifically to address you. He uh? sounds slightly confused, which is admittedly understandable. I see. I confuse myself sometimes. Oh, well, <laughs> our character is just really confused all the time so far. For some reason, a strange sense of apprehension flits over me. The king singled out the Grand Inquisitor, one of his highest ranking men, to talk to me? I mean, we're the son of the chief strategist. Right? Like, beyond that, he investigates domestic affairs. That means if something fishy is going on related to the king or his court, this ponytailed hell beast is on the hunt. Wow. Hope he's not been assigned to keep an eye on me or something. This is one man who I'd rather not get on the bad side of. You know, Pete, we were threatened. Do you, you think that <laughs> maybe we would actually be interested? Extravagant affair? Like, oh, okay, so I think okay. we're about to get to that. Linnaeus raises his eyebrows at my question, then narrows his hawk-like gaze at me. There are no more than six, with four of those being ambassadors. All of them equally dislike. Wow, Linnaeus is just as much prick. as you. Yeah, Jesus <laughs> Christ! Do you find anyone likable? There we go. <laughs> Ouch! I, I appreciate that Rivine is pulling no punches. <laughs> Perhaps I'd like you, if you were more like your <sighs> father and less of a spoiled child. He's so upset. He's what do you mean we're a spoiled child? Jesus Christ! I'm starting to wonder what the sentence is for punching the Grand Inquisitor. I'm starting ah, to wonder what this sentence is. Mind yeah, right. Is contemplating violence, is it not? I advise you not to raise a hand. Oh my God, me. he's so happy. Name you can't punch me because I'm a friend of the king. We're are, we're also a friend of the king. <sighs> we're all friends of the king here. That's kind of our thing. With the defeated Krowl, I turn to the doors with intent to head off before I end up getting thrown another insult. Oh. Before you head off to <laughs> trouble. Before you head off to avoid an intended insult. I begrudgingly cast a glance over my shoulder to see an annoyed look on the Inquisitor's face. If you see that ridiculous boy, Arden, is it? <gasps> Tell him he needs to act like a proper guardsman, or I'll make sure he's relieved of his post. No, Arden. No, Arden? <laughs> Lovely, what on earth did he do now? Uh, oh, I like Arden the most out of these three so far. <laughs> yeah, right? Linnaeus waves his hand dismissively at me, pulling back out the scroll he'd tucked away when he noticed my presence earlier. How much could you possibly read on a single scroll? Depends on how long the scroll is. I have is. no further time oh, okay. to entertain your dull questioning. God. Well, I'd pull up a chair for you before I left, but sitting down would surely drive this stick wow. in your rectum to an uncomfortable death. Wow! A good morning. Look, look at Rivian's like. <laughs> yeah. He's, he's like, yeah, pleased with himself. Linnaeus has nothing to say about that. All right. Mm -mm. I could feel a murderous glare trained on my back as I hastily make my way out the doors. 
not wanting to suffer the inevitable retaliation that would occur if I stuck around. All right, so so far we're bad at politics. Yeah, but as the cool breeze hits my face and I enter into the lavish grounds outside, I breathe a sigh of relief. With luck, I'll never have to run into that unpleasant man again. Eh, wrong. <laughs> <laughs> More importantly, I can see the bustling festival stalls ahead, the, and excitement bubbles inside me as I follow the stream of guests heading towards them. I don't think I've ever been to a proper festival. Maybe I'll have a chance to get some fun souvenirs and actually relax a little. Perhaps, perhaps the celebration won't be so bad after all. It's called Chess of Blades! <laughs> Sounds like a good time. Uh, yeah. What a, what a sight indeed. For a market set up just for this occasion, I find myself awed by the beauty and size of it. Rows upon rows of vendors, probably common folk, dressed up in fancier clothes by His Majesty's orders, sing and cajole to sell their wares. Uh, imagine being ordered to dress up in your fancy wear. Like, mm. oh, probably peasants. <laughs> <laughs> the air is rich with scents of spices, sweets, and perfumes, all of them competing for dominance. Such I hope I don't a... go into a sneezing fit. God, competing for dominance, just like all these eligible young men. <laughs> God. <laughs> Uh, raising a hand above my eyes to shield them from the sun, I scan the crowds for Arden as I walk. Uh, oh, I guess we really want to know. I can't seem to spot his over-ear self anywhere, though. Maybe he's just further along. Let's see. Two of those. One of those. <laughs> maybe three of God, those. We just fucking love it. Like, like yeah, <laughs> let's festival it up. Right? Let, let's wine and dine ourselves. <laughs> Treat yourself. Yeah, 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 sure. Yeah, Stopping at an exotic cart that sells food from a place I can't pronounce, I pick an array of things to serve as my breakfast. I stuff my arms with a variety of treats and munch thoughtfully while meandering along with the crowd. Wow, what a I what a life! From poets all over the world, come drape yourself in the shawl of a queen. Wait, is it actually That's the shawl of a queen? That's gentian herbs oh, and right? medicines to make the sickly <laughs> into the strong. Or perhaps the opposite to your foes. Oh, yeah, he's just openly selling poison. No, no biggie. I also sell postcards to send to your mum <laughs> or your most hated enemy. <laughs> Buy the best vintage of our royal highness's favorite wine. Are, are, does he know that? <laughs> I imagine these are all lies. Ah, a domestic product along with all these imported ones. Who really cares if it's the king's favorite wine, though? Wine's only good for getting drunk. It could taste like boiled boots as long as it gets the job done. I'm sure everyone who drinks wine agrees with Someone that. Someone should, like, introduce this person to, you know, beer, if he doesn't <laughs> care what it tastes like. <laughs> like, there are cheaper alternatives. As I head through the streets, someone suddenly bumps up against my side. All right, who's it going to be? Who's it going to be? <gasps> the kid. I'll uh, bet it's the kid. Oh, really? Yeah, who do you I'm, think? I'm thinking gonna it's going to be Arden. Arden? Uh, oh, excuse me. <gasps> Someone new? <gasps> oh, my gosh. A delicate female voice comes from beside me, and I quickly turn to see a pretty girl curtsying apologetically. She's wearing the most neon dress I've I was gonna ever say seen that, in my goddamn that shade life. shade is like <laughs> Barbie pink. I beg your pardon, sir. It's very hard walking in these shoes all day, and I'm starting to get a bit wobbly. <laughs> it's all that fun. Wow, the I glanced acting. down at her shoes. The voice acting in this game is pretty solid, yeah, actually. it is. Ouch, those heels are razor thin and obscenely tall. Poor woman. I should be the one to apologize. I suppose I'm rather spoiled, getting to plod around in these comfy boots all day. Oh, oh, she's so happy. <laughs> A happy grin spreads on the lady's lips at my remark. I think it's so funny reading lines like, like, just describing people's lips is a weird thing <laughs> for me, I guess. I think that's weird, personally, like, just going over, like, the, the curl of the lips as they went downward into an a grimace and blah blah blah. I can tell from her fine clothes and mannerisms that she's one of the king's guests, not someone here to sell wares. I'll keep about an eye on where I'm going next time. <laughs> oh, by the way, I'm looking for someone. Uh, I wonder if you might have seen him. Uh, he's he's an eligible young man, about your age. <laughs> about uh, your a little height. dominant in personality. Um, what a twist of fate! I'm looking for someone too. What's yours look like? <laughs> See, um, he's an older gentleman with a red coat and a rather round nose and a little on the largest. And he keeps reindeer at his house. <laughs> <laughs> it's for those who prefer the daddy type, but also want a good Christmas gift. <laughs> 
I pause thoughtfully, racking my mind for a similar image to what she's subs- describing. To, to what channel she's subscribing <laughs> to. Possibly ours. Ooh. I come up with a blank, however, and regretfully shake my head. I'm afraid not. I'll tell him you were looking for him if I see someone with such a physique, though. Wow. Would you? Ah, oh, I'd be most grateful. <laughs> Please tell him Celeste wants to speak with him. Wow, we're, we're so noble. All of us Celeste. are so noble. Celeste. If you see an ungraceful oaf with, oh, speak of the devil. <laughs> Arden! Hey! Before I can even finish my flattering description of Arden, I spot him eagerly pushing through the crowd towards me, waving a hand over his head. Hey! Is he your friend? Uh, he's quite handsome. And eligible. <laughs> and a young <laughs> bachelor. <laughs> She giggles coyly, giving Arden quite the intense once-over as he approaches us, out of breath. Hey, hands off, lady! I knew you'd come out of hiding sooner or later. This is the most eligible bachelor amongst the group I've seen so far, unless it's those two pit fighters. (laughs) I might might be down for the pit fighters, I'm not sure. Hmm. He doesn't even seem to notice Celeste at first, but when I pointedly nudge my chin slightly in her direction, Arden glances down toward the girl. Well, please excuse me. I need to go find Papa before he gets swindled by too many merchants. <laughs> Perhaps I'll see you tonight, Rivian. Oh. Yeah, sure. Despite addressing her words to me, she's clearly eyeing Arden as she drops in another cute curtsy, gracefully slipping back into the crowd. I'm not gonna lie, Arden is way more eligible than we are. <laughs> he's got so many more, like, cravats and collars. Papa. Yeah, he's ready. Huh? Actually, does he? Wonder if she means her real father. Uh, we have a double karate, I guess. Widower, mm. she's ensnared between her thighs. Ooh, wow. Patty. Damn. Cute girl. Uh, you two friends? Wow, Arden's like, Arden oh, looks oh, uncomfortable at that. A minute ago, Arden. <gasps> Awkward. I was actually looking for you, though. I trail off, figuring it's probably not the best idea to add as a meat shield against any assassins. Yeah, we gotta keep Arden close, both because he's the most eligible so far, and also the meat shield. <laughs> Unsurprisingly, Arden's eyes light up. If I didn't bear a grudge against him, I'd find it rather cute. Look, okay. We're blocking traffic, come on. <gasps> oh, don't be mean to Arden. Ooh, masks. Oh. I push his shoulder forward with one hand, steering him along as we stroll forward past the stalls. Your face looks a little strained, Riv. Is something bothering you? Did you buy spoiled food off one of the merchants by accident? Again. I hesitate, casting a certain uncertain glance over at Arden's curious expression. Franz's words from last night are still lurking in the back of my mind, and sharing them with someone who sharing them with someone would certainly make me feel a little more at ease. However, it's been four years since I last saw Arden. For all I know, he could have gotten even worse at keeping his mouth shut than he already was. We can trust no, no, Arden. Don't worry about it. What? There no. I did want to ask you. Uh, I did want. I want to. Confide. He's a guardsman, He's shouldn't we? Mm. Inquisitor. Mm. I don't think I've ever met a more unpleasant man in my Is, life. Isn't it like his job to protect us? <laughs> at that, Arden's eyes widen. His expression suddenly growing sheepish. Oh, him. He's even worse than you are, Riv. Oh, I thought God. I'd chop my head off just for leaving my room at night. Why? Where did you You mean go? guests aren't allowed to leave their rooms? No, they are. It's just... Well, I was just nosying around places I wasn't supposed to, probably. Fiona, Fiona have you ever nosied somewhere? Nosied? Yeah. Is that like... I don't, is that like the follow your nose? Wherever it goes. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. God. No, I have not. One time, my friend and I, in high school, we were just, like, in city and math class on one end of the school, and then suddenly we both, like, smelled this scent in the air, and no one else seemed to smell it, and so we just left our math class in the middle of class, and we started wandering down the hallways, tr- chanting, we follow our nose wherever it goes, and we went clear to the other side of the high school. It was a large-ass high school, by the way. And uh, we went to the home ec room, it turned out, where they had just finished making chicken salad. <laughs> and they said, hey, we have a bunch of extras if you want some. And so we just sat down and ate some chicken salad. So is right that what nosying there. around is? That's what I think nosying around okay. is. That, yeah. uh, I'll go with that. Yeah. Mm. Well, if that's not an Arden-esque thing to do, I don't know what is. <laughs> to go eat chicken salad in the yeah. middle of the day. Uh, he looks a little uncomfortable, though. I wonder what kind of place Linnaeus found him in. You don't act. Is it the like king's Howard daughter? Or? Like <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Just because you're off duty for a week doesn't mean you can stir up mischief as you please. I know that. I'm older than you, Riv. You can't scold me like a kid. Oh, oh how Arden, wrong you are. Oh, 
Oh, God, Jesus Christ, Rivian, don't be such a prick. <laughs> the bright morning turns into a warm afternoon as we explore the market, purchasing no small amount of food and curious trinkets. Before I know it, I'm carrying around a bag made from exotic leather with an assortment of colognes, books, and fine souvenirs tucked inside. Of course, I wind up convincing Arden to carry the bag. Oh, Rivian, come on. He needs to put the muscles he's built from all that training to good use after all. Jesus Christ, Rivian. <laughs> he seems exhilarated that we're spending time together like we used to, but the only reason I'm enduring his company is so I won't make myself an easy target. He's You're such a jerk. Also, why are we just cavorting about in the marketplace? Didn't we literally hear some guy just selling poisons? <laughs> he was just selling poisons. Anyone could just go up and buy poisons. Hey, if this guy ever comes to my comes to your booth, sell him poison and tell him it's not like yeah, like <laughs> it, it, it'd be so easy. Yeah, just just give him a fiver. <laughs> I will admit, it does bring back memories of happier times. Those times are long gone, and now I'm caught up in some political game that's far more important than drowning myself in nostalgia. Or we could Except drown. we have, like, retail Look, therapy. Like, snake like, jump! I guess so, right? Damn! I wish I had that kind of skill. Do you, Arden? Arden's excited voice besides me directs my attention to a man seated on a carpet nearby, surrounded by a thick circle of murmuring admirers. Let's go watch him! I bet your legs are getting sore from all this walking anyway. Hmm. Excuse me. Just because I'm not a royal guardsman doesn't mean I'm out of shape. Rivian, don't be such a prude. Despite my protests, I let Arden tug me over to the snake charmer, and we push our way into the audience to get a better view, because we're nobles and we do that. Oh, yes, absolutely. The sound of the strange flute-like instrument he's playing seems to make the serpent before him sway and shift, its leathery body rising to a somewhat disconcerting height. All right, prediction... Are we going to get attacked by a I, snake? I think we're going to get attacked by a snake, and Arden's going to save us. I watch for a little while, but boredom soon overcomes me, and I turn to search for Arden and drag him off. <gasps> Come Arden? on. Come on. It seems you're still a little careless about leaving oh, your shit. exposed. Oh, mm. Suddenly, oh, someone suddenly presses against me from behind, and a low chuckle echoes in my ear. A familiar, sensual voice. Oh, God. The rough grasp of his large hands on my shoulders. This is... Oh, God. Maybe he's got a what thing for... You doing here? Rough, rough aggressive dudes. Pencil. Maybe. I don't know. Oh, that's rather cold, isn't it? I've been keeping an eye on you. Let's just say... Or at least much. parts of you. Oh. <laughs> it's incredibly easy, the way you're just cavorting around, making loud noises all the time. Very easy to assassinate. <laughs> Those words alone are more than a little unnerving. Who is this man? If you want a few more details, his name's Franz. I thought we met him last night. Yeah, like come on, Rivian. But the choice is yours, little kitten. Oh, <laughs> no, mm. no, God! After whispering those warm words against my ear, he steps back, and I quickly turn to see him beckoning me with a curled finger. God, I never would describe any body parts in <laughs> any way that Rivian is describing these body parts. Yeah, I, that's what I'm saying. He's really into this. No, I want to stay with Arden. Uh, yeah, I, let's mm, get assassinated. If we in the go crowd. with Franz, I am imagining something creepy is going to happen. Well, I mean, like, I don't want to go. I want to kind of avoid Franz in the sense. Yeah, let's do it. Like, like. I, I'm, I'm doing this not necessarily because, like, I think it's the best idea so much as I want to make sure that we don't end up with Franz. <laughs> I have no reason to trot along after him and just to listen to more cryptic nonsense. I mean, no shade if you want to end up with Franz, but... Besides, if I abandon Arden again, he's probably going to make me feel guilty the next time we run into each other. Oh. I deliberately turn my back to Franz and ignore him, focusing instead on trying to find wherever Arden slipped off to. Through the throng of enchanted viewers, I spot him closer to the inner part of the circle and start to weave my way closer. As I get near to him, though, I notice a familiar little girl close to his side, uh, one who looks about as fascinated as he is by the snake charmer. What a brat! Hazel? What are you doing here? I thought you were a servant girl! Gentlemen from yesterday. Wait, did she meet us yesterday? Yeah, yeah. No, like, nice gentlemen? So uh, um, <laughs> I'm not sure I would characterize him as nice. Well, she didn't hang around us long enough to actually, like, 
see us or listen okay. to us for more than a couple sentences. <laughs> I hate to be a Scrooge, but it's a little unusual for a servant's child to be given such free reign. Totally against decorum. It's preposterous. She is pretty cute, though. I'd be willing to bet she has Silas trained with those puppy dog eyes, and he lets her do whatever she wants. Probably covers for her if she gets in trouble, too. Ah, uh, Silas well, is make weak. make sure you don't eat too much candy, or you'll get a stomachache. Thanks. I should know, that happened to me <laughs> all the time when I was your age. Maybe she's smarter than you. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Arden turns around when he hears us talking, his surprised gaze flicking from me to Hazel. Oh, hello there, little miss. I've seen you around before, haven't I? Maybe. Mummy and I <laughs> live in the servants' quarters back in the capital's castle, but I run around the main halls all the time. <laughs> no nobleman has come to put me in my class place, my position with and my pink hair. Lots and lots of mischief, hmm? Look, you already found something in common. I can tell you'll be great friends. Oh, God. Hazel laughs, be beaming brightly up at me. Oh, we're, such we're such dicks. We're such a dick. We're not such dicks. We are multiple dicks. Like that, you know. <laughs> Her expression falls slightly at my words, eyes flicking down to the ground a little guiltily. Oh. A moment later, though, she quickly brightens up again, gi giving me a mischievous grin. It's a secret. I'm really sorry, though. I got too excited. You forgive me, right? <laughs> Do you forgive the girl? <laughs> Don't forgive the girl. Yeah, right? I can't help but raise an eyebrow dubiously at her reply, but it doesn't seem like anything worth being bothered by. You know, there's just this sort of assassination plot going on that I don't really understand. She's the, she's the assassin. <gasps> she's free reign of the castle. You're like, right. She goes in the main halls, even though she's a servant girl. Right? Oh, God. Besides, if anyone's to blame, it's Silas for pawning her off on me in the first place. Oh, this is the little girl you were looking for last night? Well, you can't be too mad at her, Rivian. I know firsthand how boring it can be standing around in castles all day. No one Aww. asked for your opinion, Arden. Oh my god! However, all is forgiven. Just make sure you're careful if you run off again, since there are some unsavory types attending. And really prickish days. nobles, too. Like, seriously, that's the biggest... that's the biggest threat. Franz's face comes to my mind, and I inadvertently shiver. Because he's, like, probably ten feet away watching us. Right behind you. <laughs> she giggles happily and runs forward to give my waist a little hug, then slips past me. I turn slightly to catch a glimpse of her skipping onto the street, looking about as carefree as any child could be. Oh. You've already met a lot of people, haven't you, Riv? You used to hate socializing when we were little. I mean, every single one of these people have, like, totally thrust themselves on us. Like, the way, like we've had no choice in the matter. <laughs> Make no mistake, I still hate it. Unfortunately, socializing is rather hard to avoid when you're at a socializing event. Baffling, isn't it? What a jerk. Oh. Arden pulls a face, but still laughs a little bit, nudging my shoulder with his hand. Oh. You, know, you remind me a lot more of your father now. I remember seeing him always making fun of people. He made fun of me, too, whenever I came over to play. Oh. Mm. Trust me, I was the brunt of his scathing humor for many years. And that's why I've Maybe picked up the habit. Maybe being around the king and having to hold back his sarcasm made all those caustic remarks get bottled up inside him. Enough about that old man, though. Let's head back towards the castle. I want to take a short nap before the dinner and the inevitable dance. Okay. You're tired? I thought you were in great shape. Oh, nice, Arden. <laughs> yeah. I give Arden a rough kick to his shin to remind him that only one of us is allowed to make fun of people. Really? Ah. Oh. After he yelps and hops a bit, we start strolling through the stalls in the opposite direction, returning in the direction of the castle. That must have been quite a kick. We buy a few more small things on the way, and I manage to get my hands on a rather nice emerald-studded brooch for my mother. Wow. You can just you can just buy that at a marketplace? Apparently. Oh. oh. By the time we arrive back at the castle entrance, it's already turning to late afternoon, the sun's golden shape gradually descending in the west. I part ways with Arden, denying his request for me to show him my room, and hurry back up to the second floor. Wait, to like, our room where it's been known that we're easily just able to be assailed by some <laughs> rando? Apparently. Why? We're so bad at having a bodyguard. <laughs> Dumping my bag of mil, 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 ah, Doug in my bag miscellaneous of, of, of purchases of 
On top of my clothes trunk, I pull my boots off and throw myself onto the luxurious bed with a soft groan. And you should throw yourself with a soft groan onto the next episode of <laughs> Chess of Blades. Yeah, that sounds relaxing. Yeah, so thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, yeah. Hit the subscribe button if you enjoyed the video. And if you check out the end card or the description, we have a Patreon. So we'd really appreciate it if you go take a look at that. Bye. Bye.